In this question, we're told we have a sample of copper that contains the following relative abundances of its isotopes. So we've got two isotopes of copper shown in this table. And if you have a look, both of them have atomic number 29. That's the number in the bottom left. But they have different mass numbers. So the first one has a mass number of 63. That means together it has 63 protons and neutrons. The second isotope of copper has a mass number of 65. So it has 65 total protons and neutrons. We're also told the relative abundance. So if you took a random sample of atoms from Earth, 69.17% of those atoms would have mass number 63 and 30.83% of those atoms would have mass number 65. So our job is going to be calculating the average atomic mass of the copper in this sample. So to do that, we're going to need to do a weighted average. So I'll show you how this works. To get the average, we're going to need to take each of our atomic masses. So firstly, we'll take 63. And we're going to multiply it by the percent relative abundance that we have. So we're going to multiply 63 by 69.17. So there we've got the mass number multiplied by the abundance of that. Then we're going to add to that the mass number of the second element, sorry, the same element, the second isotope, 65, and multiply that by the relative abundance of that isotope, which is 30.83. And finally, we need to divide by 100%. So what this does is it gets us the average, but it's a weighted average because it's not just the average of the two numbers 63 and 65. That would just be 64. It's a weighted average that takes into account how much of each we have. And that's why we've multiplied by the relative abundance inside that average. Okay, so now all we need to do is put this in our calculator. And that gets us an answer of 63.6 for our average relative atomic mass. Let's enter that in here. So again, I just want to point out that we had two isotopes, 63 and 65. If we were just to take a normal average of those, 63 and 65, the average would be 64, which is halfway between them. However, because we didn't have 50% of each, we had more of the 63 isotope and a bit less of the 65 isotope, we calculated a weighted average, and therefore the relative atomic mass average that we calculated is closer to 63 than it is to 65, which matches up with what we learned in the previous skill. If we have a question that has more than two isotopes, three, four, five, and on, we can calculate the relative atomic mass, the average relative at atomic mass, in exactly the same way. Uh, we're just going to add up the combined mass number multiplied by relative abundance for as many as we have, and we're still just going to divide that by 100.